Here's how to set up your MIDI devices in Reason 5. Click on Edit. Select Preferences. Now in the Preferences dialog box, from the Page pull-down menu, click and select Keyboards and Control Surfaces. Now in the Keyboards and Control Surfaces dialog box, you will see any MIDI devices that are currently connected to and working with Reason. If you don't see any devices, make sure that your device is plugged in and powered on and click Auto Detect Surfaces. Reason will do its best to find these devices and communicate with them and set them up for communication with Reason. If it can't find any devices, you can still manually add a device. In order to do this, click on the Add button. The Control Surface dialog box will appear. Now in Manufacturer, click the pull-down menu and select the manufacturer that most closely matches the MIDI device that you will be connecting to Reason. In this case, I'll select Akai. Now in the Model pull-down menu, click and select the model that matches your device. If none of these options match your device, you can click Manufacturer and select Other. Now in the Model pull-down, you can select the device that most closely matches the device you are connecting to Reason, such as a MIDI control keyboard or a MIDI keyboard with no external controls. Select the device that matches your device most closely, give it a name, and after you've given it a name, select a MIDI input. If you click the pull-down menu, you'll see all of the available MIDI inputs that are available to Reason from your computer and your audio input and output card. If you don't see any of these listed, click on Find. Reason will again attempt to communicate with any of the MIDI capable ports in your computer and then they should appear under the MIDI input pull down menu. When you've done all of these configurations, click OK and you will immediately be able to start using your MIDI device in Reason.